Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of LibreOffice, which is 6.3.3. .3. So let's open up the web browser and we're just going to go to Google and type in LibreOffice. Just type it in one word, LibreOffice. We'll click here and we'll click on this download now. When we click on download now, we'll see this LibreOffice 6.3.3. .3. You can view the older versions of LibreOffice down here. We want to install the latest version. Now, you need to basically click on this drop down and select the relevant operating system. So you've got Linux versions, Mac, Windows 32 bit, and Windows 64 bit. Um, if, you, if you're using Windows and you're not sure if you, should, if you should select 32 or 64, what you need to do is go down to the search here and type in system, and then go to system information. And inside your system information, if it says x64, you want the 64 bit. If it says x86, you want the 32 bit. <clears throat> so that's how you know what version you need based on Windows here. Mac is just the default and Linux, uh, I'm sure you guys will work out what you need. So let's click on Windows 64. There are the release notes here telling you what the improvements are, but I can see there's quite a few improvements in terms of compatibility with Microsoft um, uh Word and Excel and the Windows applications, there's quite a few good improvements on this version. So normally I install or update like every sort of three or four iterations and I think this one's worth updating. There's 303 megabytes. Let's just go back here while it's downloading. Let's just check the release notes. Let's have a little browse in here. Um, okay, we won't read through that. I'm sure that will take quite a bit of time to read through. Um, so maybe I'll look at that later and do a summary of another tutorial showing you some of the improvements Definitely worth installing this one. I actually have the current version running here So it's, it's a little bit dated the LibreOffice I have so I want to update this uh, There's one application that I quite use quite often in LibreOffice actually is um, the uh, LibreOffice draw yeah? the drawing application So I quite actually enjoy using that. I don't know if many people use it but um, LibreOffice Draw, this one right here. I use that to make a lot of charts when I'm doing complex web applications. I use that software quite a lot. So we've got the wizard open here. Let me just do that again. So let me just uh, go into this folder. I've got the, the, uh, the installation file here. I'm gonna double click it. And then uh, let's just wait for this to check. It's computing space requirements here. Um, and here we click next. We'll just do typical. And then uh, create a shortcut on the desktop, no. Load LibreOffice during system startup, no, we don't want to do that. We want to load the software when we need it. We'll click install here. And it's just going to go ahead and install that. If you see any prompts, just follow them and click yes. It's validating the installation. So this shouldn't take too long to install. Um, if you're not familiar with LibreOffice, it's very similar to uh, OpenOffice and Microsoft Office. So OpenOffice and LibreOffice were really like one application before, but they split off in different directions. I think LibreOffice looks a bit more polished. It looks a bit more, um, you know, a bit more high end, but OpenOffice is pretty good as well. So it says the following applications using files that need to be updated, uh, blah, blah, blah. So do not close this application. A reboot is, will be required. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna say, do not close the application. I need to reboot the machine later. So I'll do that later. Uh, to reboot it because it's talking about Adobe Acrobat, but I don't even want to shut that down right now um, Let's just get this installed and we'll just boot it up and make sure it's all running correctly This is actually LibreOffice 3.3.3.2 So that's the actual long tail version number there uh, But on the website it just says 3.3 so Moving along this software has gone pretty far in fact um, in terms of how good the ap actual applications are. The, the spreadsheet software on here is very, very good. Um, the, the document editor isn't as good as Microsoft Word, I would say. So Microsoft Word is probably better than the, the writer application. But I think the spreadsheet is pretty amazing what they've done with the spreadsheet software. Same with OpenOffice as well. And those two spreadsheet applications, they're, I think, almost level par with Excel in terms of day-to-day -day usability. Obviously, Excel has a lot more funding behind it so you can do a lot more you know interesting things uh but for your day-to-day -day spreadsheet work LibreOffice is just as good as anything else 
and you can always save your files as Excel files and you can even open Excel, Excel files in LibreOffice as well. So compatibility is pretty good as well, cross, cross uh, software application compatibility. So hopefully this won't take too much longer to install. Uh, let's see, I think it's on its last bit. Almost done. So you can actually go to my YouTube channel uh, if you click on my playlist while this is actually installing let's just go to my youtube channel here and we'll just leave this on the side we'll click on playlist here and if you can see all the different types of software that i've been through so here's LibreOffice. there's 25 tutorials in there you'll find open office in here you'll find microsoft stuff uh, you'll find blender 3d animation i like to vary my knowledge right so i've got video editing in here I like to learn a bit about all different things. I'm a web developer. That's my, kind of my day-to-day -day job. But um, apart from that, I like to go and learn a lot of different other things. I want to learn about a lot of motion graphics and video editing and creating spreadsheets and I find all that stuff interesting and using stuff software like GIMP to do image editing manipulation. Right now, I'm spending a lot of my time using learning Adobe After Effects. So you probably notice if you're following my channel I haven't posted many videos recently it's because I've been learning Adobe After Effects so come and check out my playlist subscribe if you'd like to subscribe that would be nice as well and you can click on videos here and you can just see all my latest videos that I've uploaded um, you know in the last couple of uh, last couple of months here let's close this let's click finish here so this is all done we'll click finish it says you must restart your system for the configuration changes uh, to be made to LibreOffice to take effect. Click yes to restart now or click no if you plan to restart later. I'm going to click no, but that's basically the installation done. I'm actually going to pause this video, reboot my computer, and we're going to boot up uh, the latest version of LibreOffice. And let's give it a quick check. Let's see what it's, what it's looking like. Okay, so I just rebooted my computer. We can now go to here and we can click here. And we should see the latest version of LibreOffice. You won't really see much difference here, but we should see um, when we boot up the application, we should see something a little different. So let's go ahead and click on uh, where is LibreOffice Calc? So we've got uh, OpenOffice, LibreOffice Calc is here. So these are all the spreadsheets ones basically here. These are all the word type stuff. And let's click on LibreOffice Calc here. Let's just make sure we're running the latest version. So did you know using Control Alt Shift and V uh, to paste the content of uh, the clipboard as unformatted text? Okay, some little tips. Show tips on startup. Why not? That's something new. Didn't have that before. You're running 6.3 LibreOffice for the first time. Would you want to? Uh, do you want to learn what's new? Uh, so you can click on Release Notes here, and it should take you to the website, and then you can see all of the new updates. Um, all of the changes so you can see they're pretty significant right they're not messing around LibreOffice they do a lot of updates and do a lot of good stuff but you have to really go to here and read up about all of the changes and how they may affect the way that you use the software uh, but in general this is pretty similar to Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel there's not a huge amount of difference they've tried to keep a good synergy between what you typically be doing on um, Excel and what you'd be doing in LibreOffice Calc so you can do simple stuff like you know, do series filling. You can do series filling one to twenty-five here. You can click here, and there's an auto sum tool as well. You can click sum and hit enter. Got all your numbers, and it will add them all together. You can do all the basic spreadsheet stuff that you typically do. You can type in things like Jan for January. Uh, let's just uh, right align that, and then you can click here. You can series fill those as well, January all the way down to December, for example, right? So you've got two rows of two, two sets of two months here. You can do a lot of series filling, save a lot of time using spreadsheets. So I'm not going to go through a whole spreadsheet tutorial or a um, LibreOffice tutorial. But if you want to learn more about LibreOffice, then I would advise you go to my YouTube channel. I'm just going to show you a couple of tutorials I've done. Let's go to playlist here. And inside playlist, if you click here, view full playlist. When you click on that, you can see all the different spreadsheet tutorials I've done. Ones that are quite short are quite brief, like six, seven minutes. Some of them are a bit longer and they're going to be more in depth. And you should find long ones here, like LibreOffice 6 Writer Beginners Tutorial. It's like an hour, 30 minutes. But it really gives you a good understanding of LibreOffice um, Writer 6. And there should be one in here somewhere. Um, this is a pivot table one. This is really interesting, actually, as well, this tutorial. 
so you might find that interesting this is conditional formatting is quite interesting as well and then uh, this is flowcharts what I was explaining when I work on complex web projects I need to create flowcharts so that's that one there then you've got the spreadsheet one down here I did that quite a while ago but it's still quite relevant um, you've got another writer tutorial here as well so you can see there's quite large tutorials in here to give you some good foundation and some good knowledge and then there's uh, lots of nice little short ones to give you some tips on how to do certain things in uh, LibreOffice. You can also apply the ones from OpenOffice to LibreOffice because the, the applications are very, very similar. Although they look slightly different, the logic behind them is uh, very, very similar. So you should be able to find, uh, let's see, Open OpenOffice 4 tutorials here. So when you click on those, you can actually watch these tutorials and apply the same logic to LibreOffice because they're, they're almost uh, similar in, in terms of uh, their functionality it's just the design is slightly different yeah the visual aesthetics so you can use these tutorials as well entirely your choice um, I'll leave you to go and experiment with that so that's the end of this tutorial that was showing you how to install LibreOffice 6.3.3 uh, if you've got an older version of LibreOffice, then I'll definitely recommend you download this version. It's got much better cross uh, compatibility with Microsoft Office tools as well. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.